Hello, everyone! Zack Nighthawk flying into this space once again with another episode of Pokemon Emerald! In the last episode, we acquired the Devon Scope from Steven Stone, which helps us identify and remove invisible Kecleon in our way. And at long last, Flipper fully evolved into Swampert. Now, with the healing and shopping routine out of the way, it's time to take on Winona and win our sixth gym badge. But first, we have one more invisible Kecleon to send packing. Wanna use the Devon Scope? Zack used the Devon Scope. An invisible Pokemon became completely visible. The Sturtle Pokemon fled! Saves us the trouble from having to battle Kecleon. And now, nothing stands in our way from challenging the Fortree City Gym. Yo, how's it going, Champion Bound Zack? Fortree Gym Leader Winona is a master of flying type Pokemon. She's waiting at the back of this gym behind the rotating doors. She's waiting for new challengers who are trying to take wing. Okay, go for it! These rotating doors will get tougher the further we go along in this gym. And before I battle this guy, I gotta switch Echo out for Electra because, well, you'll see. When Winona takes the battle, her face shines with beautiful determination. I'm not letting you witness that lovely sight! Had to use the James voice at some point. Birdkeeper Umberto, and his one Pokemon is... Yeah, Skarmory. For all Skarmory's prowess as a physical wall, it's still pretty squishy when it comes to special attacks. Especially Electric-type attacks. Goodbye, Skarmory. Stop you! All right, moving on. Looks like we got a double battle up ahead. Yeah, I'm gonna use Electra and Echo for this one. Behold, the elegant battle style of bird Pokemon! Winona taught me personally, you can't beat me easily! We are facing Jared and Ashley, and if I'm not mistaken, all of Ashley's Pokémon, all three of her Pokémon are Swablu. And the first Pokémon Jared sends out is Doduo. Swablu's a better defender than Doduo, so... I'm going to use Shockwave on Swablu, and Echo will use Strength on Dodua. Down goes one Swablu. And out comes another. All right, so that's one of Jared's Pokemon out of the way. What does Jared have next? Skarmory. Well, changes my plans for this turn. Gonna use Thunderbolt on Skarmory, and Echo will use Strength on Swap. Normal type attacks can't do a damn thing against Skarmory, but thank God Electro type attacks are its biggest weakness. Yeah, Electro grew to level 36. What's Jared's last Pokemon? Tropius. Quick attack on Swablu, and Echo will use strength on Tropius. 
the one Pokemon in this battle that uh, Electra's Electra type attacks won't be super effective against because Rapis is part Grass type. And Grass type Pokemon resist Electra type attacks. And here comes the last Swablu. Thunderbolt on Tropius, and Echo will use Strength on Swablu. I'm hoping that Strength will be good enough to knock out Swablu, I'm hoping Thunderbolt will be good enough to knock out Tropius! Thank you! Come on! Ooh! Fury attack. Hit four times. Ugh. At least none of those times featured a critical hit. Quick attack should do the trick, and this double battle is over. You! You're strong! I was beaten! Okay, so... This is gonna be one of the tougher puzzles here. Here I'm gonna... basically go in a circle. And we got another double battle up coming. I'm gonna use Ra Yeah, I'm gonna use Reishi against flying types. I'm hoping Headbutt will come in handy here. And I'm going to heal up Echo with a Super Potion. Yeah, I got 10 Hyper Potions now, but I think a Super Potion will, will suffice for Echo. Yep. There's no need for Winona, our gym leader, to deal with you. I'm plenty good enough for you. The lovers of bird Pokemon aspire to join this gym. As a member of the Fortree Gym, I'm not allowed to lose! What happens if you do? Does Winona fire you? <laughs> Winona must be a pretty nasty boss. We're facing Flint and Eduardo with a W. Flint has Swellow and Eduardo has Doduo. Let me see something first. Headbutt does... No, wait. Let me check. Strength does 80 damage. Headbutt does 70 damage. All right. Dodo is by far and away the weaker Pokemon, so that's who Reishi will attack. And, well, actually, you know what? Reishi has a very high attack stat, so I'm going to use Headbutt on Swellow. And, and Echo will use Strength on Dodobo. Come on! Oh! Uh. Please don't miss on your next turn, guys. And last for Eduardo is Pelipper! Uh, that thing most certainly has Protect. Please hit Swallow this time and... Use your strength to... Knock out Pelipper. I hope it doesn't use Detect or Protect. I had to speak. Oh, you used Wing Attack against Echo. Oh, for... Ah, uh, you... <laughs> yep, same as last time. Ha! Protect failed. Screw you, Pelipper. Oh, no. Another double team. Ooh! But you couldn't evade that headbutt. 
Link's last Pokemon is Zatu. We saw Natu for the first time in the last episode, and we see Zatu for the first time here. Oh, I just realized Zatu's psychic type and Reishi's... Zatu's psychic flying and Reishi is grass fighting. That's a... That's a major disadvantage. Come on, headbutt, do your stuff and strength. Please knock out Pelipper. You use Peck against Echo. You're an idiot. And for that, Pelipper somehow stayed up. I'm really doing a good job of jinxing myself in this battle. use Headbutt one more time on Zatu and Stomp Pelipper. Oh, shoot. Nightshade. <sighs> that could have been... That could have gone pretty badly. But I avoided a rather unfortunate fate. And Echo grew to level 36. It was too much of a load for me to bear. Yep, and now you're about to hit the unemployment line. Uh, we got a single battle up ahead. You know what? I'm going to use Vibrava here. Along with Reishi, it's the... Well, oof. I'm excluding Handy, obviously, but... Three of my Pokemon are at level 36. I want Vibrava to catch up. You'd better know that there are all sorts of flying type Pokemon. You do know that, right? What do you think, I'm stupid? Darius? Your one Pokemon is Tropius. Hmm. Just like uh, the guy I voiced James for earlier who had the one Skarmory. Come on, Dragon Breath! Oh. Oy. Please don't do that again. Please do more damage. Nope. Oh no. Not again. Oh jeez, I gotta 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 use a hyper potion. Got ten of those. I can surely spare one of them here. Not again! Please don't be a critical hit this time. Please be a crit on my end? No. Oh no. Please don't be a crit. Please don't be a crit. Once again! I find myself jinxing myself. <sighs> yeah, Reishi will come in and uh, finish you off. You have one or two HP left. Oh, well, now Reishi's level 36 and trying to learn Sky Uppercut. Yes, I would like to make room for Sky Uppercut. Sorry, Mach Punch. You're about to be replaced. 40 power, 100 accuracy. I know that Sky Uppercut is less accurate, but 85 damage with that base attack stat? How can I say no to that? One, two, and poof! Reishi forgot Mach Punch, and... Reishi learns Sky Uppercut. You seem to know your stuff. And now I gotta use a revive on... on Vibrava. 
had a feeling I'd have to use those at some point. And last but not least, Reishi. Ooh. I know what to do here. I gotta go in. Never mind. There we go. This is the correct way. No, it's not. <laughs> Why did I? <laughs> nah. Like I said. These revolving doors get tougher the, lo the further you go along in this gym. Ah. ah, that's right, I gotta switch it there first. Now I... Alright, now I can go in a circle. And there she is. Winona. And for this gym battle, I'm going to start with Flipper. And I'm gonna move Electra up. One slot in my party. Time to take on the sixth gym leader. I am Winona, the leader of the Fortree Pokemon Gym. I have become one with bird Pokemon and have soared the skies. However grueling the battle, we have triumphed with grace. Witness the elegant choreography of Bird, Pokemon, and I! Don't know if that was correct grammar, but... Here we go, our sixth gym battle against Leader Winona, who has five Pokemon. She will start out with a level 29 Swablu. This Swablu has Paris Song. I gotta get this thing out of here. Come on, Ice Beam. Yay. Goes down on one hit. What's her next Pokemon? Tropius. This Tropius has Sunny Day and Solar Beam. In other words, please get this attack off first. Please. And, uh, oh, by the way. Hold on a minute. I just gotta hope this knocks out Tropius. Yay. What do you got next? Pelipper. This Pelipper has supersonic and protect. This thing can get a little annoying. Which is why I'm sending Electra out for this one. Thank God. <laughs> what am I, to, I was hoping it used protect on that turn. But it used protect on this. I jinxed myself so often in this episode. Ugh. But anyway, I was going to say that Winona is arguably the toughest flying type gym leader in this entire series, even to this day. Which isn't saying much because flying type gym leaders are among the easiest ones in the series. Uh, bye. I mean, Faulkner and, uh, and Skylar are a complete joke. At least, at least as far as they're concerned. Oh! I was hoping you'd send that out last. Now I gotta send Flipper back out there. Altaria is her, higher, is, is her highest level Pokemon, so if you think I haven't done enough leveling up, you are sorely mistaken. Earthquake! Thank you. Thank God I got, uh, thank God I got, uh, Electra out of there as soon as I could. You're quad weak to ice. You can dragon dance all you want. But you're quad weak to ice. You are gone. I don't care how defensive you are. 
And her last Pokemon is Skarmory at level 31. Gonna send Electra back out there to finish off this Skarmory. Aerial Ace against an Electra type Pokemon. I made a nice switcheroo there. And now, hit him with the Thunderbolt. She had two Hyper Potions on her, and she didn't even get to use one of them. Thoroughly dominated this battle. Player defeated Leader Winona. Never before have I seen a trainer command Pokemon with more grace than I. In recognition of your prowess, I present to you this gym badge. Zack received the Feather Badge from Winona. With the Feather Badge, all Pokemon up to level 70, even those received through trades, will obey your every command. You will also be able to use the HMO Fly outside of battle. And this. This is a gift from me. Obtain TM40, that is for Aerial Ace. Just like Watson before, we get a TM for an attack that doesn't miss. TM40 contains Aerial Ace. Its speed, no. Its speed, no. Ah, sorry. Its speed, no Pokemon should be able to avoid it. And we registered her in the Pokenav. Though I fell to you, I will remain devoted to bird Pokemon. Very admirable. You did it! You've achieved liftoff! I know, right? And here's the thing. You could have fought her much later on. Beep. Hiya, Zack, it's me. Or, hiya, Zack, it's me. Just as I thought. You wanted the Fortree Gym. Your strength. Perhaps you really are the trainer that I've been searching for. Remember that you have a fan in me. I'll be cheering from the sidelines. Keep up the great work. Click. So you get a phone call from Scott after you defeat the six gym. And I want to go to the Pokemon Center because we can now use Fly outside of battle. And I want to cheat. And I want to teach Fly to B Wing. Move Pokemon. That's right. Gonna send the handy out of my party. Oh, you gotta. Oh, never mind. Hold on a second. I gotta take that potion off your hands first because I didn't know you picked that thing up. That is very much a parting gift from Handy. Well,. Until I, uh, have to use Handy for Surf again. Which, I mean, I hope it, hope it won't come to that. Because... When, one, when another one of my Pokémon fully evolves, it will be able to learn Surf. Okay, okay, it's, uh, it's Echo. When Echo fully evolves into Loudred, it will learn Surf. Only then can it learn Surf. It can't learn Surf as a Loudred. So now I want to use... Well, first, before I use Fly, I gotta teach it to a Pokemon, and I'm gonna teach it... to B-Wing. That's why I pulled it out of the piece... Never mind! I didn't know Vibrava was able to learn that! I thought it had to be- I thought it had to evolve into Flygon for that! Okay, Fly is- okay, Bite's gonna be replaced. I already have Crunch. Bite becomes a little bit more obsolete, and now it's gone. Vibrava forgot how to use Bite, and... Vibrava learned Fly. Hold on a second. 
So, about that parting gift. It... Gonna use the Brava to fly back home. I haven't seen my mother in a while. We can now fly to any location that we've already visited on the map. Now that we've beaten Winona and the Six Gym and got ourselves the Feather Badge. How are you doing, Zack? You look a little tired. I think you should rest a bit. Oh, she doesn't have anything for me. Never mind. All right. We've beaten the Six Gym. And we've... I never thought I'd be able to teach Vibra Vibrava fly. So I think it's fitting that we end the episode here. Next time on Pokemon Emerald, we travel east from Fortree City towards the next gym. Zack Nighthawk flying out. <laughs>